Gentlemen, <laughs> wow, we have a lot to talk about. All, All right, right, let's get right. to it. Is there any pressure to do these roles? I felt the pressure with Frankie, but luckily, you know, I did the original Broadway cast, so I dealt with those feelings years ago at this point. Now I'm like old hat at playing Frankie Valley and, 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 you know, skirting that that fine line between uh, actor interpretation and yet uh, adherence to reality so as not to offend the real guy. I mean, but I, now I can, you know, I get bold sometimes and, and uh, go with my instinct anyway. <laughs> I like the way you say old yeah. hat with Frankie Valley, and we're talking about, you know, a guy that is just incredible. I saw him, actually, he came through Houston. He did a live concert, and I saw these songs. I, I, I saw the stage show, and now I see the movie. I didn't realize how much drama was going on with these guys. Yeah. That's it, and I think the other interesting thing is, is that, like, like you just said, you saw Frankie live, which means that although this movie ends, the story doesn't. Frankie's right. still out on the road performing. Big time. Uh, yeah, and, and packing houses all over again because of the success of Jersey Boys and introducing his music to a whole new generation. Now, I think people, when they hear this music, I hope that they realize that what we did is the backstory. Now people can actually go out and see the real story. They asked her what was the high point. The four guys under a street lamp. First time we made that sound, our sound. That was the best. Ladies and gentlemen, the four seasons! 